why we don't do bone graft and sinus lift. Can you just uh, talk a little bit about bone grafts and sinus okay. lifts and why not or why do them? I've been using this non-grafting techniques for the full arch for the past 10 years and it works fine. The bone graft sounds very, very good, but you actually, humans, cannot grow the bone. We think we can, but we can't grow the bone. We can fill the voids, we can hope that it will convert in something resembling the bone, but it's far away from the bone. We can't, we can't grow the new bone, we can't grow the new blood vessels uh, supporting the bone and everything, mm -hmm. okay? What we do here, we are working with the living bone, which is still attached to you, okay? So which have a blood supply, supply which is attached. So we can find in almost every human being enough good bone, living bone, to place the implant. So that's why the planning and the distribution of the implants is so important, okay? Grafts like sinus lift, they look good on the x-ray, but they don't really work long term, they don't really work that well. For the full arch, immediate placement. Right. For the full right. arch, immediate right. placement. Because single tooth implantology, when somebody's missing one tooth or two yeah. teeth, it's a completely different branch of implantology. Within dentistry, it's just teeth yeah. in and out. But then we have different branches and then even implantology, full arch implantology, a single tooth implantology, they're completely different. So with the single one, yes, you can support yourself with grafting, with bone substitute, with taking a piece of the bone and putting it there, but it takes time. It's a long, lengthy process. If we're talking immediate, placement, immediate load, then graftless. Yes. Yeah.